Hey guys, Chaz Pippett and J.K. Wyda from Baseball Rebellion. And if you remember last year, we did a home run derby draft. And this is year two of the draft. I was the champion last year. Surprise, surprise. So I get to choose whether I want the first pick or the second pick in the draft. I'm going to let J.K. have the first pick in the draft, which means I'll get the second too. So it's a snake draft. You'll see how it works. What we've got here, we got all the participants, their fly ball to ground ball percentage, and how many home runs they have, okay? I wanted to say I haven't posted in a while. Uh, I just had a son. He's 28 days old today, so I hope everybody understands. I've been a little sleepy and a little busy, but now I'm back, and I'm better than ever. So without further ado, let's start the draft. J.K., you got your first pick? Yeah, and without knowing too much about these guys, I mean, just look at their swings and kind of overall body types. Obviously, the numbers help us out, give us a little bit of feel for the types of swings that they might have. And uh, last year, I got dominated, for lack of a better word. <laughs> Surprise. And uh, I, I got to come back strong this year. And, and my first gut instinct is Cano. Uh, but, you know, as much as I'm a Yankee fan and a Cano fan, we know how much is, we love this swing at the Baseball Rebellion. How did Cano work out last year for you? Uh, yeah, I don't think he hit one. No, he hit zero. <laughs> but but I also think, you know, and I just did a thing about home runs, that, you know, uh, with uh, Curtis Granderson and, and had that was a little bit slant to do the park. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on Cano this year, even though he is the El Capitan. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my big boy, Davis. Wow, that's kind of a surprise pick. I really thought J.K. was gonna go fielder. I thought about it. So J.K. goes with Chris Davis. I saw his swing today a little bit. I looked at it a little bit more, and you know what? He's got a really good lean back. I think he's gonna be able to make it easy for him. Yeah, I mean he he doesn't use a lot of forward momentum, but he's a moose and he turns his barrel beautifully. So that was an excellent pick. Obviously, he's got 37 home runs. This is a big one for me, obviously. Yeah, and the second highest fly ball percentage as well, which is really good. All right, well, I get two picks now, okay? Um, my pick to click, and the guy I think I was going to win the whole derby is Bryce Harper. I love his lower body mechanics, even if a lot of guys online don't really understand when they can't really figure out how they do them. Um, but he's a guy who has a technical advantage and explosive power advantage over everybody in this uh, derby and we've seen that from the time he was 16 years old so my first pick is is Harper and he's on the more athletic side now I'm gonna go for pure girth and go Prince Fielder the, I believe uh, was he the reigning champion yes he won last yeah, year. I mean I had so many good guys on my team last year I can't remember who won you know what I mean so go ahead JK well I will say that that is a uh, that is an interesting pick uh, untested on un, you know in the home run derby uh, younger guy has a little bit more energy and stamina probably than some of the older guys here. Fielder is a good pick. Uh, saw a stat today where he has, I think he's in the top five or six all time in home runs in the home run derby. I think like Griffey and uh, like Jason Giambi have more. But um, so my second pick of the draft, I think I gotta go. Man, oh man, this is tough again. I might have to pass him up. Man, we're gonna have to go with a stopwatch on this pick. To, what are we I might doing have here? To pass him up. I'm gonna go with Cespedes. Wow. Okay. Also a big guy, bigger guy. Cano. Just the fly ball percentage just gets me down a little bit. And uh, you know, man, he really let me down last year. So I'm gonna go with Cespedes. You got another pick. Um, and then after him, Jake had a little trouble writing his name right here. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, after this, I'm gonna go with. Uh, Denier. Alvarez. Oh, wow. Alvarez is a good pick. You know, he's a very highly touted prospect, um, really coming into his own this year. I cannot believe that Robinson Cano has fallen to really let me know. But this is what happened. Oh, we were shocked. That was one of, like, the low points of my home run derby watching career, which has spanned years and years. Uh, I love home run derbies. I actually found some really cool old home run derbies like Al Kaline versus Harmon Killebrew. Those are super cool. So maybe they're on YouTube somewhere. Well, obviously, I got to go with Cano. He's my second favorite hitter in the world behind Jose Batista. Everybody knows my man crush on Cano. And now the real key is who's going to get stuck with Kadire? <laughs> not me. I'm going to go with David Wright. Here we go. And hopefully Kadire doesn't Can prove not me wrong. Pick him? Can you just abstain? <laughs> <laughs> you want to abstain from you Kadire? Know, That's we, awesome. We say this, but... You never know, man. Maybe he gets in the groove early and finds the swing path early, and, and his batting practice coach is on point. And uh, who knows? Obviously, he's got a you know, really low uh, fly ball to ground ball ratio. I kind of went with your bigger fly ball ratio guys uh, this year to see what would happen. But uh, I feel pretty good about my picks. Well, as we know, 
you know, one of the best ways to like improve your power numbers is hit more fly balls because grounders can't be home runs, can they? Not many doubles either. No, no, right not really. Line. Very low percentage. So we got to make sure that that these guys, that you guys under, understand, like you can't be afraid of these fly ball percentages. Now, if you're a tiny little guy who's a leadoff hitter, that's probably not what you want to do. But obviously, that's not what these guys are. So again, this is Chaz Pippet and J.K. Wider from Baseball Rebellion signing off. Good luck, brother. Going see you now. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs>